Mike, the road manager at the office, asked me about the video. Okay, so I go running around the office, I can't find the video. So, I remember the video's at my house. I go, Mike, I'll go get the video, I'll be right back. So I get in my car, I go around the corner up the hill to my house. I walk into my house, and I look out the back door, it's made of glass, and I see a man, an adult man, about five foot seven, white shirt, brown pants, brown shoes, with surgeon's gloves on and a tool. And he seems to be doing surgery on my windowsill. And there's a one and a half second, what the fuck, be, 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 be very still type of thing you go through. You're like, whoa, whoa. <laughs> am, I, am I dreaming? Am I high? Or is there a man with surgeon's gloves and a tool operating on my windowsill? You go into total denial mode. What is he doing? Perhaps he's my window guy? <laughs> Do I have a window guy? I have window people? Whoa. Is he from Homeland Defense? Just checking for Al-Qaeda cells. Sometimes they burrow in the talking between the pain and the sill, sir. It's all part of the Patriot Act. 58,000 words of Kafka-esque legalese that not even the president can get through. Don't worry. And all these obtuse terms uh, means we just get to... So just go on and be very afraid of us. We're the government. So, I stand there going, ah, ah, what do I do? Do I leave? Do I get on the phone? What do I do? And in that moment of me going, ah, ah, the man stops his work, puts the tool down, looks up, sees me, a beautiful smile goes across his face, and he waves, and he says, hey, how are you? And the most insane conversation I've ever had in Southern California starts right at that moment. Now, being somewhat a polite lad, not that I've displayed any of that so far this evening, I am somewhat polite. So when he said, hey, how are you? I stupidly answered back, fine, thank you. And then I asked him a stupid question, how are you? And then a stupider question, may I help you? What am I thinking? The man points to a house next door to me and he says your, your neighbor let me in the neighbor is dead uh, 97 years of age is a pretty good achievement I think so what are you doing and he went well you have a front door buzzer right I went front door buzzer it's like one non sequitur weird thing after another this conversation is now going into its second utterly surreal minute I go door buzzer neighbor what are you doing 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 he's like uh uh, well, well, you have a neighbor, and, and there's a buzzer. No, 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 forget the neighbor, forget the buzzer. Okay, I'll tell you what you're doing. He's like, oh, okay, maybe he needs help. You know, remembering his motivation in this scene. And so I said, you're a burglar. You're breaking into my house. He went, no, no. Now, when you call someone a burglar, that's some pretty heavy stuff. You, know, you better be able to back that up. So I was like, oh, I'm sorry. Then what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? And then he said something totally insane. He said, let me in. Let's sit down. Let's talk about this. I don't have a gun. Be a man. Be a man. Let you in. You don't have a gun. What if I don't let you in? I'm a party girl. Is that it? You're like pushing my, my ever decreasing sense of masculinity. He's like, yeah. I'm like, oh, are you what? Ah. I said, let's see some ID. He's like, I, I don't have to show you ID. He doesn't. I go, how about this? I'll show you my ID and I'll call up the cops and they'll come over, they'll show you their ID and we'll get in the backyard and we'll have a get to know each other party. What do you think about that? He's like, no. I go, then tell me what you're doing at my window with surgeon's gloves on. He goes, I. I work for the cable company. I go, really? I don't have cable. And then he asked me the last utterly surreal question. He said, well, would you like me to leave the same way I came in? There's, this is a, 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 you can answer either yes or no. It's a yes or no question. What if I say no? No, you can't leave the same way you came in. What does he do? Put on his rocket pack? Okay, then. Does he go back into the lamp? that he came from, I'll just wait here until you rub the lamp. Does he say, I like my chicken soup with extra salt and I want my latte and make it snappy. I'm moving in. What if I say yes? Does he say, I am Hassan. 
I don't know. So I just, with my eyes riveted on his midsection to see if he doesn't go for a handgun, I just kind of go, well, okay, go for it. He goes, fine, then I'm leaving. He's totally indignant that I'm kicking him out. He's like, fine. Boom, he's gone. So I run through the house, I grab the phone, punch in 911, and I run to the driveway to see this guy, $6 million manning it down the road. Gone. The cops answer. I go, hey, okay, you know my name and address because you get it when on the computer when I call. Okay, here's a guy. Tried to break into my house. Uh, no hair, white shirt, brown pants, brown shoes, run like a motherfucker down the road. Get him. And they go, okay. And I hang up the phone. I get an idea. I call Mike over at the, the office. I go, Mike, check it out. Go outside right now. See if you see a guy about five foot seven, no hair, white shirt, brown pants, brown shoes, run like a motherfucker. He's like, I do. I see a guy, no hair, white shirt, brown pants, brown shoes, run like a motherfucker. I go, that guy tried to break into my house. He goes, I'm on it. So there goes Mike, like a shot, running west on Hollywood Boulevard. I get another idea. I call the cops back. Hi, I'm the guy who called about the guy. Check it out. Now there's two guys. Okay, first guy, no hair, white shirt, brown pants, brown shoes, running like a motherfucker. Second guy, big fella, dark hair, black shirt, black pants, holding a cell phone. First name Mike. Answers to Mike. Don't shoot him. Shoot the other guy. And by the way, here's his phone number. Give him a call. They do. And with Mike's coordinates, that's how the police helicopter that went right over my roof knew where to go. I hear the sirens, I hear the chopper. It's like, L.A., the video game. It was amazing. So we have air surveillance, foot pursuit, three cop cars are descending upon the scene. The guy goes into an ap uh, apartment parking lot structure. <laughs> Poof, he's gone like Houdini. Never saw him again. 